Yonkers Voice Urban Explorer in action. Today we are here in Puerto Rico, La Isla Verde, Calle Giovanni, I think that's the correct name. I will correct once I'm done. As you guys can see, can see in front of the camera is the beach. But right before you reach the camera, maybe about 50 feet, there is a, a house that is in ruin and I am going to show you the house. The house is also for sale. It's for sale, it's kind of a little messed up, but the property is, uh, is worth it a few dollars for sure. Let me show you the house from the outside and then we go in. This is the corner property. Aquí en la Isla Verde, reportando para todos ustedes. Estoy aquí en la Isla Verde. Como pueden ver, hay aquí una casa que está para venda, caso ustedes la quieren comprar. Mira, aquí está la información. This is the information in case you want to inquire about it. Now let's go inside and take a look. So that's the beach. There is a building there. Then the street right here and the house. It's right here at the corner in case you want to inquire and buy it. Now let's go inside so you can see that the property right now is not in the best shape. Okay. And I don't know if whoever would buy it would just repair it or would bring it down and rebuild it all together. And that's the street where I was. That's, that is the street a donde yo estaba, que va para la playa. Se bajas así y haces una derechita, como cinco, 50 pies a la playa. Y miren los buildings a vuelta de esta propiedad. Hay unos negocios, hay unos uh, uh, delis, denis. Hay muchas cositas aquí al lado. Y yo creo que esta propiedad hecha bonita sería un buen sitio para alquilar a turistas que vengan acá a la isla. Ahora vamos adentro. Now we're going to go inside and show you guys from the inside. Okay, so this is the entrance. As you guys can see, there is uh, nothing here. A little room here that can be used as a closet, laundry, whatever your new owner decides to. A hallway that goes to the front of the house where we just came in from. There's a lot of stuff here, dirt. But all this can be cleaned up. The rooms are a little small, but I'm sure that uh, it can be expanded. Here is where one of the bathrooms could be. Okay, I can see it that uh, a shower was here once. That's the entrance for the for where we were just in. Now here, it's another entrance for what sh appears to be another room. Wow, well, it's a very huge room, look.
So guys, if you buy this property, don't forget to tell the new the, the, the agency that you saw this video on Yonkers Voice so they can send me a little check, you know, uh, as a finder's fee. Because, you know, we, need, we also need a few dollars to, to help us, you know, move forward. Since our members don't donate much to us, maybe the real estate agency that sells this house because of our video will send us a check to us. And if I call, I hope they don't tell me that the check is in the mail. Check is in the mail. So this is another. Okay, let me show you more or less. This is the entrance where we came from. There is a little entrance wall. And then here, it's another entrance for the, another room here. There is a stool there. I guess they can close it up to make it, you know, be the bathroom. That's the shower room. Or perhaps the, the toilet bowl was inside. They just to remove it because it seems like there was some work going on here at this location. So I'm praying maybe this toilet seat was inside that, top, that bathroom. Now, going forward here from the outside, so that was on your right side, you find another, another room, a little larger, with a window. That could be a, a nice size, Closet space. Now we're going back in this room here. Let me show you. Nice. With an, with an arched door right there. Let's see what's in there. Oh, we just found a little baby. Look at her. Yum, yum, yum. Well, the little kitten is taking a rest, so I'm not going to disturb her. And right there, it's a door to the outside. That door is sealed at the moment. Now, let me show you where I am so you see an idea. Right here, there is some stairs that go up to the terrace. So let's go to the terrace so you can see how does it look from here. Oh, nice, look. That's the beach right there that we saw earlier in the beginning of this broadcast. This is a very high traffic area because look, people walk on this road to go to the beach. The airport is less than five minutes from here. You might have to go around, but it's directly five minutes from here. It might take, you know, a few more, half an hour to get there because you have to go around traffic. So let's see what it's here. <clears throat> oh, look at it. Oops, that was a little cat that scared me. Oh, there is another baby boy right there looking at me, look. He might be thinking, who the hell is that guy? We didn't invite him here. 
Why is he here bothering our peace of mind? So, so this is all part of the terrace of this house. Now let's go down so you can see it the other side. Now next to this house, there is an open lot that might be for sale. I am not sure, I'm just saying maybe for sale. And as you can see, people there, because that's the trajectory to the beach. Now we're gonna go down the stairs, same way as we came up. Gotta be careful. Another arch door. Let's see what's inside. This could be whatever. Another space for the laundry or whatever new owner decides he wants that space to be. Room Vendors, rooms for vent, for sale, house for sale. Now that's the, the rooftop where we just came from. And another little room. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. This was today's Urban Explorer episode from uh, Urban Explorers forward slash Yonkers Voice. I hope you enjoy it. I always show you the things that I see when I go away on vacation. I like to share my experiences. I like to let you know where I am. I like you to see what I see through my lens. I do this for you. I know some people uh, find uh, criticism on everything that I make. So who cares about them? Okay. So if you want to share this, share it away. Show people. This is Puerto Rico, La Isla Verde. And guys, if you are on this group and you want to post something, we kind of ask you to post, but put a description of what you're posting. Just a picture or a video that says absolutely nothing does not mean much to us. And I'm not inclined to approve those posts unless it's something exceptional. But regular videos I will not approve because the point of this group, of this... Uh, social page is so we can share our experiences so people who might see what we saw and by writing the description they might say shit i'm right next to it or i'm going on vacation to that town to that country let me visit the place that we saw on yonka's voice so please make sure take a few extra minutes before you actually submit the post the date the location the address the country and what makes the place special what happened in that place because there is places with history behind it so let us know as much details as you possibly can it's important remember the goal of the page share experiences maybe others wants to go and see what we just saw what we saw so it's important to put down a description 
because I see people posting, submitting posts that say absolutely nothing. They put a picture of some a place in upstate New York or upstate in, or, or somewhere in France, but they say nothing whatsoever. So if I'm around that area or if I'm traveling to France and I want to visit that place, I would never get there because I don't know what that picture is in, in which context that picture is in. So please write a description. More details the best. So Yonka's Voice reporting from La Isla Verde, Puerto Rico. I hope you enjoy. Feel free to share. You know, and uh, don't forget, support us by sending some stars our way. But that's not the only way to support us. You can also ask your friends, your families uh, to join Yonka's Voice Facebook page. And also go on YouTube, search for Yonka's Voice and subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. Sometimes Facebook has a problem and uh, people are not able or we are not able to broadcast from Facebook. And when that happens, we broadcast from YouTube. It's just a back door. So uh, we are never silenced. Because as you all know, Facebook works funny. When they feel like silencing you, they just block your profile, don't allow you to broadcast, don't allow you to do anything. So we need a backup. And the backup is YouTube channel, Yonka's Voice. Enjoy it, have fun, and stay on, stay tuned, because as my vacation is kind of winding down, if I see something that I feel is of interest to you, I will broadcast. Until later.